friends, here's another week of exciting AI news that caught my eye. Let's start with several exciting news from the Python world. Python is aiming to remove the GIL, the global interpreter lock. Currently, this restricts Python code execution to a single core, preventing multiple threads from executing at the same time. If and when this change happens, Python will support efficient multi-threading, allowing code to take advantage of the multi-core CPUs. Polars, an open source fast data frame library, just raised a $4 million seed funding and is starting a new company serving enterprise needs. For those of you who are not familiar with Polars, it is a data frame library like Pandas. It is impressively fast, lightweight, and can handle larger than RAM data. However, it is not as well supported by other data science libraries like Scikit-Learn as Pandas, but you can easily convert Polars to Pandas. Jupyter AI brings AI to Jupyter Notebooks, giving users the power to explain and generate code, fix errors, summarize content, ask questions about their local files, and generate entire notebooks from a natural language prompt. In this example, I asked it to explain this code to me. Then I asked it to rewrite the code with comments. You can click the replace section and it can replace the code directly in the cell. And then ask it to generate a demonstration on how to use Maplelib. It was able to generate a notebook with text and code, but it is kind of weird. I don't see code in some of the sections. I think this functionality may need a little more work. Three models from the industry this week. NASA and IBM have teamed up to create a geospatial AI foundation model with NASA's satellite data. They open sourced the model and data sets on Hugging Face. Together AI released Llama 27B 32K, which extends Llama 27B model to 32K long context. Meta released AudioCraft, a single stop code base for all your generative audio needs. It consists of three models, Music Gen, Audio Gen, and Encodec. It can generate sound, music, all in the same space. And finally, two interesting papers. This paper, two documentation enables zero-shot tool usage with large language models. From that, large language models can read documentations to learn how to use tools without any training and without any tool-use demonstrations in the prompt. This paper proposed Dynanang, an agent that solves tasks by using language to make predictions about the future via a multimodal world model. That's it for the week. See you next time. Bye.